Can we have like a pile of paper so every time you can go like. Now on web news. There we go. Oh, so, are we talking smoosh now? Well, I guess we should describe what actually happened. Yeah, it might, might actually not be clear to everyone that they just know Smoochgate and actually don't know what's behind this. So, Mutools. Mutools is one of the, the ancient JavaScript libraries which modified the prototype chain. And they had things like array tooling and probably lots of other things as well. Is yep. it like pre jQuery? Uh, yes. I would say, or it, it certainly same era at least, right? Yeah, so. I mean, it, it it was very similar to Prototype, which was definitely pre jQuery. Mm -hmm. um, so they were modifying, were adding things to array, yeah, and to object to, to loads of stuff. So in now, I thought that, so we had the array dot flatten is the proposal that uh, TC thirty nine made, and it's like a stage three mm -hmm. and. Uh, we spoke about it a couple of episodes Did ago. We? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, flatten, uh, flatten, and flat map. And flat map. Flat map. Yes. Um, I think it was in one of the Christmas ones. But the problem is, is Mutools also had a ray dot flatten. Mm -hmm. Now, at first, I thought the problem was that you know they were doing if not a ray dot prototype dot flatten, and then they would add their own. Which I think they are doing. They only. No. This is the thing. And because I because I went into the 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 Mutools code uh, the Mutools code and they are overwriting that method, no matter what. But then where's the problem? Because this is the thing. That's the right thing to do. Yeah. If if you well if you must override yeah. a prototype. It, if there isn't a spec to follow, then yeah you have you to do always it unconditionally. Override it. Yes, because otherwise in the future something else comes along with a different behavior and has taken taken over your namespace. I was under the impression they did conditionally. No. The huh. real problem is is even more interesting than that. Hmm. And it's not nothing to do with code that calls array.flatten. Ooh. Ooh. If this is where we would cut for the next episode if we wanted Ooh. to retain more viewers. Cue the X Files uh, theme. <laughs> yes. <laughs> tune in next week to find out what it's actually on. So they had this thing called elements, which is sort of representing essentially a, an array of elements. Is that the thing the same thing that underscore does where you say like underscore parentheses and it wraps an entire array so it could very well okay. be like that. I mean, this is certainly what jQuery does. Okay. Right? Um, or oh, the jQuery elements that you usually designate with a Which is sort of, sort of inheriting from array, yeah. sort of, kind of. Yeah. Or it's got the, it's array-like. Mm -hmm. And what they had a bit of code that you know to save time, they thought, well, this elements thing, it's kind of we want it to be behave a lot like an array. Mm -hmm. So let's do a, um, a for in loop of all the stuff we've added onto the array prototype. Okay. OK, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you do array.prototype.foo and uh, set that to a function or something, mm -hmm. that becomes enumerable. If you do a for in loop, that, is, that key is going to appear. OK. Yeah? Oh. But if you do array.prototype.sort and set that to a different function, it remains not enumerable. Because, because sort the property is already defined as a non-enumerable property. Exactly. Interesting. And that's what happened. Is by shipping array dot flatten, it became non enumerable. So their added method was no longer showing up in this for in loop. So it was oh. no longer being added to their elements object. And so those people who are using the wrapped element couldn't call flatten anymore. Couldn't call flatten. Despite anymore. unconditionally overriding the prototype. Exactly. So that's interesting. So because they defined, because TC39 sh wanted to ship flatten, it would have removed the function from the people relying on Mutools. Yes. That is very unintuitive. Interesting. And, and it, that was a surprise to me, that it yeah. would remain non-enumerable. Really? Because if the property exists, you're just defining, you're assigning a new value. Yeah. Like, it makes sense. I suppose it does make sense. But it, w when I read that, I was like, oh, yeah, OK. So that's. Why the first intuition was to not ship TC39 flatten as flatten, but under a different name to just avoid the whole clash. There was like a, a Twitter poll done by someone on TC39 yeah. of like, what should we do here? Should we break the web? Uh, should we call it smoosh? Or shall we change like the how the our implementation works to match mutuals? That but wouldn't have like solved anything. Exactly. Hmm. Because they were already unconditionally overwriting it. And that's yeah. why I think that, oh, I have some sympathy for people who were confused by it, because I was confused by it. That was very confusing three, four days. I mean, technically, it's still going, I think, at the time of recording. There's still people going like, mm. Yes. One of the options was to rename 
the the flattened method to something that like, let's say smoosh. Like smoosh. And smoosh <laughs> was the joke one. But there was a PR for it. So they yeah. that's is that a joke? I don't know. I think that's I, I think that was an in joke that sort of leaked out. Maybe. Um, but Turns out GitHub is not private. I, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's not a place for in jokes, and and so pe people were kind of angry at this ridiculous method name. Yeah. Um, to be fair, I think a name that hasn't shipped yet, and was an unreasonable amount of anger. I think some people felt it was a done deal, and it's not. It's yeah, still no. in absolutely. Okay. Maybe that's where the confusion came. Was the most. Drastic to feel because of that. Well, when there's a PR to actually change the method name, it's reasonable to think that it's well, got a Well, it's a PR, it's not merge. When it wasn't merge, I would be like. Right. Right? That's fair enough. But um, so, yeah, so the, so the options really are rename it or yeah. break the web. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of sites in the top 1,000 sites that are using Mutools. Whether they're using elements.flatten, we don't have the data for that yet. I think what I was just said it's like 1.2. 8 percent of the something. Well, that was using Mutools. Yeah. So we don't know that they're using the. No, of course, but well. at least you can see that Mutools, despite its age or, or, how, or whatever, however you want to look at it, it right. is still fairly on fairly many page loads. Exactly. So so it's a big risk, and we mm -hmm. we have seen big sites break. Well, Firefox saw big yeah. sites break in their nightly with flattened yeah. shipped. A lot of people are saying, well, you know, Mutools is stupid for doing that, um, and then some people are jumping to Mutools defense, going, well, we didn't know back then. And that's a lie, because yeah, we did. Because <laughs> I was writing JavaScript libraries back then. And a lot of us who were writing libraries which didn't touch the prototype were shouting at the libraries that were, going, this is going to become a problem really the soon. The prophet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was, I mean, we saw it happen with um, prototype. They had get elements by class name. Uh, and that, be, that clashed with a real method yeah. um, eventually. So we knew this was a problem. Um, so yeah, I, I it's think the same with why array has contains and class list has includes and like the contains yeah. includes and has or something. These th the triple of these functions completely inconsistent because of other libraries hogging that name in the past. Yes, so we have string contains rather than string includes, and it is for exactly the same reason yeah. as smoosh as the flatten. Like yeah. it, it's the same bit of code in Mutools. Oh, it's this also Mutools. I didn't know that. Yes, it's the for in loop. So, I, so Mutools is wrong, A, for messing around with prototypes. But B, the biggest, the, the, the way they are completely unsubjectively wrong is that for in loop is not doing what they think it does. Yeah. Because it's, it's not catering for the idea that methods will come in later and change the enumerability mm. of properties. We, if we, I, we can't punish Mutools for this, because if you break the web, you're not punishing Mutools, you're punishing the okay. users of yeah. sites. I think. I, so I had this idea, and I would like to call it um, quirks mode. Right. <laughs> oh. So OK. So what would your new trigger be for the? If you include mood holds, <laughs> you're in, you are in quirks mode. So that has been considered. And that is really? still on the table to some degree. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, because we've done it before, like document.all. Document.all is a thing mm -hmm. that works. But if document.all returns false, it, it, it doesn't. Yeah, you know, this is, yeah. Document.all inside an if statement will be falsy. Interesting. Even though it's an object with properties. Ah. And because and this is because a lot of code would branch on that uh, document. As a detection all. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is the part where my memory's fading a little bit. That I think it, people were using it as a branch for IE. Oh, OK, yeah. Could, could um, be. Or, or not. I can't remember. <laughs> the, it, it, it was used as a big <laughs> assumption of the browser, which mm -hmm. was no longer true. So in order for the browser to support document.all for sites that were still using it, but didn't want to be part of those if statements, that's why that was introduced. So it is possible that we introduce some kind of similar hack somehow. Oh, boy. Yeah, that if you overwrite array.prototype.flatten, it becomes enumerable. Uh, it's a horrible hack. But it, and it's it's that would be really silly, but but it would break less sites than the other way around. Yes, but it just means that when you teach JavaScript to someone, <laughs> you have to go. Oh, by the way, if you overwrite a property, it remains its enumerability like the web except is for the web is like French at this point. You have rules, but you have more exceptions to the rules than you have <laughs> rules. <laughs> right, I, and and so maybe it's adding a new one is not bad, but the alternative is we just come up with a name, a new name that's yeah. not. That's not as silly as smooch. That's not flat and not smooch. Exactly. 
Do you think we have babbled on enough? We have. I just feel like we have ba babbled. Babbled we've on. Babbled. The library is Babel, right? It's pronounced Babel. That's know, the official. Right? No, it is Babel. Because I'm quite upset about that because it was always. Like that word was always Babel to me. Yeah. Because of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's the way. The Babelfish, yeah. Yeah, the Babelfish.